On this video, we won't talk about tapon and pad, the dangers and the one that is preferable that you will use. Okay, you're welcome back to my channel, Susan Hebert. If so, I give you some medicinal plants and living a healthy lifestyle. Yes, today's topic now on tampon and pad. A lot of women then they're very, very comfortable using tampon. A lot of women don't want to use pad again, but a lot of dangers day when it comes to tampon. There is one particular one way I want to discuss today, whether they call them TSS the toxic shock syndrome yes this tss we won't talk about today it they happen to men it they happen to women it they happen to children it they even buy people go and read about it tss toxic shock syndrome but the majority of the people with this thing they kill with this disease they kill now women and how it take the kill them, how it take the buy them, not true tap on. Yes. Okay, let me explain. Even before you buy the tap on, you know, say we know they like to read a pack of waiting we buy. Go and read about it. If you read that, this thing where you for where you they use as tap on for your mazes. You go see and say they go write and put say if he cause stroke, if he put injury for the wall of your buckles, I mean inside, you no go make inside the breathe again. If he make you, they feel they feel say I they turn you. If he make you, they feel say you they weak. But we know they read all these things. They even tell us for how long that thing supposed day for inside our body, but we know they listen. We know they read. We just because it's comfortable. We no one use a pad. Okay, you go come see at times now when you go use pad for your monthly flow. You go see and say you go get some kind blood. We take where they come out for your body. You know. So when you use tap on. Things like that, not they come out. Even if it come out, it go just hang on top of the this thing. And all those thick, thick blood supposed to come out. At times, now them come go they hang. As then they come, they go come they hang for the wall of your fallopian tubes. Now you go come see say person get blockage of the fallopian tubes. It they cause different different things so the reason i'm doing this video is because a lot of women they no know say tap on not the healthy those people wait do one they write and they but we know the reader even the quickest watch i remember when i talk about quickest watch a lot of people come here come argue and with me but they write and they say quickest watch wash fits Tamper with the pH of your quickus, but people are still using it. So people go use tampon, they go they feel say ah, be like say they want just faint. Be like say they want the song go even faint. Say then go they ask them waiting faint you. They no go feel talk. Say they no go know say now waiting day inside them. So my sister, if you be that type where they use a uh, tampon, you no won't use pad again. No let and pass four hours inside your body. Okay, if you must use, but if you can't ask me, Susan, what is your advice on this topic? I'll tell you to use pad instead of tap on so that all the blood will really come out from your uterus, all of them will fit flow come out. No one go hang for the wall, you know, go come get scar for inside your wickles. Scar in the wall of wickles, I will do a, a video on it. We be say some women they fed the knock well before love is so the way you won't knock then they go come they feel some kind of heavy pain. Yes, because there is a scar there. Okay, so when I know as we did one when it comes to Susan Hebatis, we they talk as it be, especially the things of the other room. Don't auto medicate and don't self diagnose. I will see you all again on my next one. Bye bye.